Let's see if this statement is true or false. Negative 2 and 3 tenths greater than negative 2 and 33 hundredths. Now we can't simply compare decimal places like we do for positive numbers because I'm comparing two negative numbers and things change on the negative side or to the left of zero. If this is greater, we want to know if negative 2 and 3 tenths is to the right then of negative 2 and 33 hundredths. Now you can either see that it's to the right because the absolute value of this number is actually greater, so it would fall to the left. But if you're having trouble with what I'm saying, you can simply divide both sides by negative 1. If I divide this by negative 1, I would have 2 and 3 tenths. Remember, if I divide by a negative, that would be less than. And if I divide this by negative 1, I'd have 2 and 33 hundredths. Now you're comparing positive numbers, and you can compare decimal place by decimal place. So 2 and 2, those are equal. Decimal point 3 and 3, those are equal. There's an understood 0 here, and this is 3. So this is greater than this. That means this is a true statement. And if this is a true statement, this is a true statement. Let's determine whether this statement is true or false. The important thing here is to realize the difference in the left side of this possible equation and the right side. On the left side, without parentheses, this 2 goes with a base of 6 only. So this is negative 6 times 6. 6 squared is 36. This is the opposite of 36, so the left side simplifies to negative 36. On the right side, because of the parentheses, the base for this exponent of 2 is the entire negative 6. So on the right side, it's negative 6 times negative 6, which is a positive 36. These two numbers are not equal, so the statement is a false statement. To determine whether this statement is true or false, let's simplify each side of the statement. Here I have negative 5 minus 8, and negative 5 minus 8, that's negative 13. On the right side, this would be the opposite of, and what is 5 minus 8? 5 minus 8 is negative 3. You can think of this as 5 plus negative 8. Either way, it's negative 3. So on the left side, I have negative 13. The right side, I have a positive 3, the opposite of negative 3. This is certainly, then, a false statement. This is false, this is false, and our original statement is false. Let's see if this statement is true or false. Let's simplify the left side. Negative 2 times negative 3 times 0. This left side simplifies to 0. Now be very careful. What about negative 4 divided by 0? If negative 4 divided by 0 is some real number, then it would be true that that real number times 0 must give a product of negative 4. There is no real number that, when multiplied by 0, gives a product of negative 4. So we say that this is undefined. Once again, division by 0 is undefined. This is a good real number. It is 0. This is undefined. So this is a false statement. Is this statement true or false? All natural numbers are integers. First, remember the numbers that are natural numbers. The set containing 1, 2, 3, and so on indefinitely in that same manner. Those are all integers because remember the integers are in the same manner, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, again, in the same manner. So are all natural numbers also integers? The answer is yes, 
So this is a true statement. Are all rational numbers integers? In other words, is this statement true or false? Well, remember the definition of a rational number? Any number that can be written in the form a over b, where a and b are integers and b is not zero. So, for example, it is true that some rational numbers are integers. For example, 4 over 2. That is a rational number. It's also an integer because it simplifies to an integer, which would be 2. But are all rational numbers integers? What about one-third? That is a rational number, but it is not an integer. So all rational numbers are integers. That is a false statement.